The Pilots Union for Southwest Airlines is now suing Boeing over the 737 MAX jets. The Pilots Association says Boeing lied about the aircraft being as safe as others. It also says not being able to fly them has cost pilots more than $100 million in pay. Boeing says the lawsuit is without merit. So, question, could this lawsuit affect the ongoing groundings of Boeing 737 MAX? King 5's aviation specialist, Gunn Farley, is here. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first, you have also seen reports involving another aircraft. Another, another airplane. So the previous model to the MAX, remember the MAX is new, but they've been, Boeing's been making the NG, which also stood for next generation, makes it a little confusing, plane, which is kind of, that's still in the air. But they were finding some cracks a few mm -hmm. weeks ago as some of these three of these planes are being converted into freighters overseas. The FAA concerned about that, something involving something called a pickle fork, which is a reinforcing mechanism between the wing and the body join. Um, immediately inspections were ordered both by Boeing and by the FAA, which mm -hmm. technically only affects the U.S. fleet. And they have found 25 more out of about wow. 500 Jeez. planes. Not a lot, but that's still significant. On to the other question about will this lawsuit, I don't think that's what it's designed to do. I mean, the pilots union was very angry about this from the beginning, saying if we're going to fly this plane, why are we not told about this MCAS system? Remember, that is at the center of these two accidents, how the pilots interacted with that. Uh, and being surprised and everything else. A lot, of course, has been written about that in the meantime. But uh, that's This obviously affects quite a few different airlines, but in particular, Southwest. Yeah. With the well, Max. yeah, because the Max, I mean, remember, the only airplane Southwest flies is the 737, but various models. Obviously, they fly NGs, which have not been involved with any sort of accidents or incidents. They had 34 Maxes on March 13th when the fleet was grounded. Those all got parked down in Victorville, California. Mm -hmm. By now, they would have had a lot more in stock, if you will, available to fly the, the airline has had to cancel flights. It's had to delay route implementations, things like that. Remember the Newark case a couple of weeks ago. So all of that is added up, and the 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 and the Southwest pilots have been made it, made it very clear from the beginning that they were not happy about this at all. Glenn, thank you. Meantime, the plane's still grounded, still waiting for the FAA. Still waiting on it. Hopefully, not that much longer. Thank yeah. you.